hopefully for any Piotr fans out there, I know Orla is one of them, so he might still be out there. Um, you know, hopefully Piotr's not going to take this into the final game of the day and he's not going to have a sleepless night thinking about it. But that is entirely possible. And in the meantime, we'll get started with game 10 of the 2017 best final. Oh, Piotr's just drawn the two letters that perfectly sum up his reaction to that nine timer miss the F and the U. Sorry, I stepped away for a moment there. Um, it's okay. So we are we have started now, okay? Yeah, um, we've started. So it's Piotr to start and he has drawn A C E E F O U. Um don't see anything that doubles the F or the C. Unfortunately, forces does require the S on the end, so we can't play F F A U C E. Um, Paul's drawn a blank. I think Piotr had UFO lined up earlier, which looks reasonable, or F O U, I guess. It's hard for him to play off more than two vowels. I'm not sure he can actually. Um, yeah, UFO looks pretty reasonable. Yeah, I guess uh, Fodari is coming down after this. Yes, thing. that does give him Fodari. Yes, it does. Just to rub it in Piotr's face, how much that miss could cost him. Yeah, it's, he's got to deal with it psychologically as well. Oh, he's drawn a blank. He might get a nine-timer, but... <laughs> he might. He might miss a nine-timer as well. He might. Who knows? So it could be bonus bonus if Paul sees Fodery, which you imagine he would, but he'll be feeling very tired at this point. I mean, both these players are used to playing this late on in the day after a, a whole day of Scrabble. Um, I don't know how these guys usually feel after 10 games of Scrabble in one day, but... Um, well, they're both in pretty good shape, so I imagine yeah. that will help a fair bit. Yeah. They, they probably don't feel it as much as other people might do. Mm. I can imagine, because nobody's made them tea or coffee either, they may be lower on caffeine than usual. Well, they may have um, had hot drinks earlier in the day, we don't know, but maybe a factor, not sure. Um, he has seen Fodery, so that'll go down. Yeah, unfortunately, E is not one of the letters that Piotr needs for a nine-timer. No. He already has two E's, and Crackle confirms that is the only bonus. Unsurprisingly, with that right. So Piotr kept A C E E, and he's drawn A N blank. Um, there's probably a four-timer there with the D. Um, can't see one immediately though. The carabine or cane wire with the R. So carabine, not carabine. Carabine, I'm thinking of. Um, not seeing anything with the D though. Feels like there should be something there. Well, there's nothing. Right. Oh, that's nothing with the D at all in any position. All oh, right. There is nothing. Wow. So cane wire might be the best play then. Mm, Caneware, Caragene and Caesarean through the R. Okay. Oh yes, Caesarean of course, yeah. So that's slightly more. He does have Analyse, but that doesn't fit anywhere. Yeah, Analyse and Catenae. Oh, Catenae, yes, of course. Being yeah. the sevens. Same problem though. Yeah, it begins with a C and it's really awkward. And yes, because he needs to use a floating fact. consonant as well, it's only the D or the R, and nothing goes through the D, so it's just the R. Yeah, he could spend quite a quite a long, a lot of time trying to find something with that D. And um, oh wait, before I forget, you can actually make a bonus through the I, as well. 
Right. Um, it's the only vowel this rack will go with. Oh, and 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 Sania or something. Yeah. E N C A E N I A. Yeah. That's but I reckon risk, he won't yeah. play that. Yeah, that's a bit, bit risky because if just what one nine timing with the E, but opens up another one with the E in the same place. So you're not really blocking a nine timer at all. No, you're just moving it essentially, and he's lining up Caneware now, so he has seen something. Caneware does open another nine timer though. It does, but the C is a bit less risky than than the E is in seventh place. So it's not a massive concern. So you'd prefer Caneware over Caesarean? I'd, I'd play Caesarean if I'd seen it, which I hadn't, because um, it's a few more points. Okay. So that gives Piotr a small lead that puts him um, 16 ahead. Paul's got an awkward rack. He's got B E L O O V Y. So he's like Lovey, I guess, to the E of Fodery. Score well and those are the V and the Y. Mm. Oh, one of my favourite kind of onomatic peak type words Bluey! Oh, Bluey, yes. Yeah. Keeping the V. Yeah, and now in Collins you can have Cablui. Oh, the KA extension, yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Um, the Paul had Bluey lined up, but he's now got Lovey lined up instead. Yeah, and Lovey is slightly better because it gets rid of the V instead of the V. And the yeah. V is a lot more awkward. Yeah, I definitely prefer playing the V off here. He does, he does keep the V for B O F O, of course, which might come in, in useful. Mm-hmm. I can imagine if if Paul had the K instead of the V and say Kablui as a bonus wasn't playable, would you consider doing Bluey I mean like a K instead of an E, would you consider like Bluey over Lavi just for the potential extension or not worth oh, definitely, it? Definitely, definitely, yes, because Although it's quite likely to get blocked. I mean, um, Piotr is going to play XL next move through the Sea of Cain, where if it's not blocked, which I don't think it will be. Um, but yeah, if, the, if you get that sort of chance, then you, you try to take it. If you've, um, especially if you don't have many options available, which you wouldn't if you had a K instead of an E. He's got Bluey lined up again. I think I would still play Lovey, though. Hmm. Maybe Paul just wants to make the board explode later with Kablooey. Or maybe he just hasn't seen Lovey. He did have it lined up earlier, but yeah, he's perhaps unsure of which, which, one, which of the two to play. Mm. I can Probably imagine it's quite it. close, though. Yeah, so I think Lovey's marginally better. And he does play Lovey. Boyo. Michael's suggesting Boyo, which is not considered. Which leaves the E wide open. Perhaps unwise to do that. It does score well, though. It's 35 and keeps the LV. Oh, Piotr's just saying Octolite, which is um, slightly less, I think. Better leave, though, I would think. A little better, yeah. So and I it, guess it, it's it worth sacrificing the points? I think I would still play XL because Oxalate's a bit more volatile um, and you don't necessarily want that when you're taking a 40-point lead. It's only six points less. Yeah.
Oh. Looking a bit ugly there, Drax. Anyway, um, Paul kept B O E kept through I N C V. That's a awkward. horrible combination, B and V. Yes. You can play things like Vibe next to Oxalate. The Almost obvious. anything next to Oxalate, though. Just yeah. take out that easy 30-point scoring spot. Yeah, this is the drawback of Oxalate, because um, Paul's next year was going to score a fair bit more than it would if he played XL, say. Um that would Paul have been able to do much at all if, if he played XL instead? Not sure he could have done. Um, Paul's got Bovine lined up now, which will go next to Oxlate as well for 40 odd points. I think I might prefer the Vibe, although you put the O next to the double, uh, the triple's not so bad because the X is gone, but you still can get hit with a V, H, or a Y coming down as a five letter word um, next to Bovine. I think I'd mildly prefer. Um, vibe here over bovine for that reason. Mm. And with both blanks gone, the X gone as well, maybe you're not so keen to play so many tiles in reality. Yeah. But yeah, it, it, five offers better board control and you're keeping a marginally better balance on your X. I think I would play vibe here. There's not really another option, is there? It's just... It's between those two, I think, and he's, he's playing bovine, so he's going for the turnover, getting a bit more volatile, in keeping with oxalate. Back also, bovine is technically back by three points. We just seem to run a sim on that, but he's made his choice. It gives him a small lead. Um, Piotr is now four down. Um, he kept the E from oxalate, and he's drawn... The J, a couple of I's. I J is never a good combination, really. Um, because it's hard to use them both together normally. You could play Gidgey through the D of Fodery, but that's also very volatile. It does dispose of the vowels, though. Playing Jig next to Oxalate for 27. Just keep the F next, play next to Bovine next move, so that's pretty reasonable. Mm -hmm. Paul does have one of my favourite six letter words on his rack. Tell we we. Yes. Ah, like every time I've played that word, it's ended up being challenged. And, and in fact, you can play it next to uh, Fodery. Scores well and disposes of vowels. Mm -hmm. It does keep the U, but I don't think that's too big a concern. Yeah. It's called, yeah, I said Gidgey, um, but it, it does take the S and there's all four S's in the scene, so you can't really mm -hmm. play it. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be taught here, surely, yeah. Through the UFO. There's not much else to consider other than trying to maximise that W and split them up. Well, he could play core for 41, but that's keeping four vowels and a T, and that's not good. Tau Iwi um, doesn't score that much fewer than core, so it does have to be that, I think. Was doing Very Yes, he hadn't seen the possibility of Tauri. No, you do need good door vision to see that. Um, Five is creeping in. That yeah, may, it's the uh, kind of. It's the kind of to, um, yeah. That, with that leave. But we'll see. Yeah, it's the um, kind of um, vowel heavy <laughs> words you should really know as well. Yeah, it's going to benefit Piotr because he can now play the Q with that U and 
score something for it. Playing quid, you could play equid, which is probably preferable. Slightly better lead. But and stops your opponent using that hook as well. Indeed, yeah. Because now Paul can play F2 e and Equid and score 20 odd with a rat that he's probably got no business scoring 20 with. So, Tauiwi is a Maori term for the non Maori people of New Zealand. All oh, right, I didn't know what it meant, but yeah, I knew it was a, a Maori word. It even looks like what... a Maori word. Yes, with IW in it, yeah. Is it, does that mean iwi means uh, Maori people, if tau iwi means non-Maori people? Well, let's have a look. Let's Come on, tablet, stop being so old. I'll, I'll get to that, okay. eventually. Eventually. But there's nothing else for Paul to play here, really, and he does play it. He does play um, a tweak. But 23 points gives them a point lead. And Gus was drawn ferrets, which does still play. It did play with UFOs before, but now it can play under Equi. It does open up the nine timer. Well, let's get the IP, so he could hit it. Ooh. I have found yeah, uh, Iwi. Word. Iwi means a Maori tribe. So Tau Iwi right. literally means foreign tribe. I see. In that sense. Ooh, he's drawn Ouch. well there. And Piotr has played ferrets. Does that give Paul anything with the nine timer, I wonder? Would be quite something, wouldn't it? It would. Probably needs another vowel though. Just, um... Oh, he's lining up uh, stretches. And is that score. is the only eight with the S. That's the only eight, right, okay. But well, that's going to score well anyway because he's doubling the H, so that's going to be 101, I think. Um, even if it, there might be a four time with the R, but even that's going to score less than stretches, so um, he's going to play that fairly soon, I would think. And Gustra has drawn seven continents, including the Z and the Y. Um, but that one's Paul's paid stretches, which he does. Mm -hmm, so. yeah. up, that is the highest scoring move. Did he just say 107? Oh, he's holding. Um, I didn't hear what the score he announced. But if he does, if he challenges it, it will be about that anyway. I mean, at this point for Piosa, he's staring at a rack of seven consonants. His opponent's just played a hundred point bingo to give him a fifty point lead. Like he, he'd prefer it if it came off because you know now he can worry about his rack without being fifty points behind. Yeah, he does have a problem with the lack of vowels, and there are, there's only a few vowels to play through. He can play through the A of Fosery and draw something there. But he's still I, gonna I have think a few the, the well. best thing I can see to get rid of enough tiles is Zephyr through the E of Ferrets. Oh, yes, that's, that's very nice. It doesn't score much, but it does um, dispose of the uh, consonant. Yeah, and leaves um, KD, which. Yeah. yeah. At least it's not taking you like two or three turns to get rid of everything. Indeed. Um, you, you might want to keep that E open though if he can, although given that he's only got, he's got no vowels, he's got half a vowel with the Y, um, I prefer to avoid that. Um, he has lined up HYP, which would go next to bovine for 30 odd. Mm. That looks good. Very little choice really. Yeah, and hopefully he could draw some of those, uh, 14 vowels left in the pool. I guess the, the pool is also consonant heavy at this. Sorry. Yeah, consonant heavy as well. So he might not even pick a vowel now. It's quite possible he won't pick a vowel, yes. But yes, play HYP. Um, Buckle says that scores a few more, but 
you, you've got to play the extra constant there, I think. Mm-hmm. See if we can get any valves. No. Oh, look, yeah. No. Oh, yay. One. So we can play Zonked or something. Um, in the meantime, Paul, 12 point lead, he's drawn, after his bonus, he's drawn B E G O O R U. So he could play Bougers uh, off the S of Strishers for 30 points. Scores well and keeps OR, which is pleasant. You might think about restricting the places of ferrets, but given that he's only 12 ahead, he probably won't be worrying about that too much, I would think. I think it's pronounced Booger. Booger! Like bogeys, but boogers. At least I hope that's right. Bougers is quite a fancy way of saying it. Yes. Um... I think he's got Burgoos lined up as well onto the S of Trisha's E from the E. Yeah, there's one potential nine, but no floater, unfortunately. Right. Not sure I know what that is. Uh, Borgion. Borgion. Oh, eight, right. As an eight, yeah. Sorry. But you said nine. Um, he's got Bouges lined up and he's playing it, I think. Oh, he's just rearranging his rack. You might want to keep the E because there's only one more unseen. Mm. So you might think about playing Burgoos instead, just to keep the E. And it also makes the floating E of ferrets um, a bit more balls. useful for everyone as well. Actually, Borg is best because um, there's only 10 vowels on scene and he keeps two vowels. So, yeah, I think Borg's is uh, better there than Bouger's. And here we go, he's playing it. Oh, wow, is this nine? I Never forgot to look that. that one up. Damn. Bodeguero? Is that like a small bodega or something? I, wow, I'm going to have to look this up, aren't I? That would have been spectacular. I? No. That will never come up again, but... That hey, you never know. I, on ISC, I saw the word God Squad, like, twice in the space of a week. like, <laughs> And then I have actually played the word God Squad. So... Strange happen. things have happened. Uh, and he's drawn post turns in the meantime. Um, imagine Fiesta will play Zonk so it won't get blocked. Well, it'll block so, one of the bars, but not the other one. So a bodeguero is a wine cellar or grocer. So it's a bodega then, basically. I think. That's what bodega means, right? I don't, don't ask me. I'm no good on definitions. A bodega is a shop selling wine and sometimes groceries. So a bodeguero right. is a person that works in a bodega. I see, right. Um, oh, um, Paul's got Stepson as well, making SIS, but that's going to get blocked by Zonked. We can play it next to Jig, actually. Uh, Stepson and Joe and N, which scores more than Poster and does, so I just will play that. Hmm. Looks like Paul's going to get this match all tied up now. Yeah, it looks that way. Um, Jasper is playing Zonk, which is going to be 40 points. But um, Paul can still play bonuses even after, even after that. And he has seen steps in, so. And uh, Piotr's racks are getting worse. Yeah, he's only got one vowel again, and he's not going to be able to score 40 this time with that rack. So after steps in, Paul's going to be in a strong position. Um, he's going to draw most of the vowels left as well, I would think. Um, there's only eight. Um, eight out of 14, actually. Unseen to him, he's not to know that, of course. Um, 
our vowels, so he'll probably draw most of them. And of course, he should just play the bonus and not worry about the vowel ratio. Well, yeah, yes, yes, of course. Um, just trying to think ahead. Yeah, here he goes. Yeah, Quacker also mentions pentoses through the E of ferrets. But Stepson is clearly the best play there. And Piotr will know he's in real trouble now with this rack and uh, only a few tiles remaining. And even with, you know, and how these last two games have gone, you know, Piotr might feel like, you know, he's actually behind in the match because the last four games will have gone to Paul. Yeah. He's, he's staged a pretty, pretty good comeback. He has. He's and, going to be uh, quite glad, I would think, that um, it's going to be the overnight break coming up because he's going to need to regroup after after this um, onslaught by Paul. Yeah, whether he'll get any sleep tonight or not, we'll have to ask him tomorrow morning. Hmm. Or Craig will have to ask him for the purpose yeah. of the stream. Yeah. I think Piotr's got Gorm lined up through the air of Zonk just to get rid of some uh, consonants. Paul has drawn the last D, which helps him a lot, and the, most of the other vowels as well. So it's looking very bleak for uh, Piotr here. Paul has five of those last eight vowels. Yeah. He's playing he Grum, actually. Oh, he's playing Grum, yeah. Which is better because it leaves the floating air up and, and doesn't restrict the R. Piotr doesn't sound too happy. Don't imagine any no. of but he doesn't sound like like he's convinced he can win this now. Yeah, and he, should, he needs to do all that A, really. Um, he's not going to do that, obviously. Oh, he's drawn a few vowels. Yeah, he drew two of the last three that were in yeah. the vowels. Unfortunately, it won't make too much of a difference to the final score. No, it does make, the S makes three um, eights, I do know that, but um, they all have the S towards the end of the, uh, towards the word, so none of them will fit. Yeah, and both so, of the Cs are not in useful positions on the board for the C's. fourth Oh, yes, eight. Mul mul multi-car, yes, yeah. Paul 64 ahead, he's going to want to play off three tiles, perhaps restrict the board a bit, although they're not particularly bonusy letters. You might look at blocking the O. But yeah, all he really has to do is make sure he plays three tiles just in case Piotr somehow comes out with a bonus. Yeah. And it looks like he may be lining up AIA um, to the left of Stepson to kill off yeah. at least the easier floaters to play around. Yeah, it does take out the S. Um, the O may be more useful, though. I'm not sure, given what's in the scene. Not many vowels. The O uh, probably a bit more uh, useful to work with. But yeah, AIA will score 18. That'll put him 82 ahead. So even if he does play something through the air, it's not going to be enough, I don't think. Are there any four-timers through the R? Are there possible racks that just we could have, given Paul's perspective? Uh, let's have a look. The lack of, the lack of ease really cuts down on that sort of possibility. So it's I L N W in the Berg, and the only two eights that would be possible are Minutial and Trillium. Right. D 
guess you could say it's looking bleak. It is. Paul might also be trying to work out whether there are any nines through the DE of uh, Equid and Bodari as well. Like, just anything, really. Um, there aren't, but always something to think about, because there may be something There might obvious. be, yes. Yeah. Although it, it probably wouldn't score enough anyway. It's going to be face values, so it's probably going to be uh, more concerned with the um, tiles that Allow him to hit a double, double word. Mm-hmm. But I mean, there are stuff like delirium, but unfortunately, that doesn't fit after the DE because you need some letters before it. Yeah. Looks like Paul's going to debate AIA a little longer. Yeah, he's taking his time, which is good. Prospect of going into tomorrow's play at five apiece. Not going to want to throw that away. Having been 5 1 down, certainly. Yeah, and especially as, you know, he'll be aware. Or he is aware of Piotr um, missing that nine timer in the previous game. Yeah. And you know he's aware that he's been given, you know, this second chance almost to tie the game up and to to claw back some of those losses. Looks like he is playing AIA, which should seal the game for him. Gives him an 82 point lead and leaves one in the bag. Uh, Possibly could get a bonus himself through the R of uh, ferrets. He'll be drawing three of I, L, N, W. He's missed the W. He's got Annalid. Annalid Monday, yep. Uh, Inlander and Non Ideal don't fit. Two of the closest that are available. What's that bashing going on? That sounds harsh. Not sure. <laughs> I hope that's not, not sure Piotr bashing from. his head ab about the table <laughs> as well. Like, how dare I miss that nine timer? Just, that's not something you need to hear. He's playing Malar above. Caneware, so he's giving up essentially. Not going to try and fish one off for a bonus. Well, he, he's. We know his brain is already knackered. I mean, why would yeah. he want to subject himself to more brain numbing pain? He's going to draw the W, which means he won't be able to go out next move. I'm sure he was hoping for one of the other seven letters. Yeah, I think the worst one he could have drawn, really. 
which kind of just about sums up his luck these last four games. Well, he did miss reshaven. Um, he can't really complain about having bad luck in, in terms of that. Mm. And I guess in the game before dinner, he did start with two bonuses. Yeah. So maybe he's being punished for some mistakes somewhere as well. Well, maybe, yeah. Um, Paul's learning up Nardine, which four time of 32. Not going to argue with those points. No, not at this stage. You could play A and I next to Stepson, um, which scores pretty well, 26. Although I'd not sure he can go out next move if he does do that. So, yeah, Nardine looks fair enough. 32 points, and he's going to have places to play out next turn. Uh, Piotr with that W can't do a great deal with it could play Iwi or something or Wiz thing was probably as much as you can get really with that right you could play Wire off the RE of Malar and Kane Wire but immaterial at this stage but you can play Rest apparently uh, to the R of ferrets. Nice, but uh, it's not going to affect the result of the game. Yeah, and I don't think Piotr really gives a damn about now. To put it mildly, no, I don't no, think he gives a damn. Not. Paul with the L. Play Law or Dell or something. Or Laz. LAS for six. six. She is playing. And that'll give him a 80 point win thereabouts. I think 79. That ties it up at five apiece going into tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow's games. It's turned into a best of nine. It has. Paul's done really well to come back. He was really struggling earlier on. But he's um, showed his class there by uh, not letting that get him down. And he's uh, played some excellent scrabble since then. 